So guys, welcome back to the I Love Sesh podcast. So we've got our second female of season two. Would I say DJ into it? How would I drop it? Just into it. Just into it. Yeah, I'm just into it. Just into it. So how are we doing? Yeah, all good, all good. Happy to be here. Thanks for having me. Yeah, it was overdue to be fair. Um, I've been watching for a while. Remember, I've reached out what, months ago. Yeah. To be fair, I only find out about you during lockdown, honestly. I only existed during lockdown. Okay, so I've been there from the beginning of your journey. Yeah, To yeah. now, yeah. So, um, thanks for coming, oh, thanks firstly. For me. Um, and it was only right to even get you down there anyway, because um, the platform for up-and-coming DJs as well, Sweet. as well as established. You know what I'm trying to say? Yeah. So, I feel like it's only right for people to know your journey know what you're trying to put out in the air, know your sounds, do you know what I mean? Um, so yeah, into it. We need to know where did that name come from? Um, so it relates to intuition. It means to work something out by feeling or instinct. And into it's kind of cool. So it could be like, I'm into it, you're into it. To be so, honest, sorry to cut you quickly. Yeah, go on. That's unique. Okay, I cool. think it's, it's, it's catchy. Yeah. Proper catchy, so I feel like you, you look like a woman with meaning. Yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like I could just, I could tell. I've got, I've got a good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm a vibe person. I, I just know like a strong woman with so, meaning. You know I don't what know. I mean? if, um, we didn't discuss it before, but I had a release earlier in the year. It was actually a re-release. Um, so I did a tune with a friend in South Africa who wasn't a friend when we met. We met on SoundCloud. Okay. And uh, the tune was re-released recently by uh, Defected's Afro House Imprints on Della. Oh, wicked. Yeah, so um, when I released the tune, I didn't know what I wanted to call myself because I wasn't an artist. I was just oh. someone making a tune with a friend. Okay. So I just said, I'll just be Tam and then throw an extra T at the front. I really didn't care. I just yeah. wanted to make the song and share it. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then when I got into DJ and I thought, let me think about this a little bit better. And that's what I came up with. I think that's a that's a shout. I think it suits you, <laughs> but it is different, and that's that's a good start. Okay, thanks. Personally, and personally, that's what I think. In it, you have to be different. Like, you can't be the same. Yeah. So it's like it definitely stands out. Um, so that's a good start. That's good. Secondly, what? So what are you? So for house DJ, travel house DJ, are you an AMA DJ? Are you a DJ of all all genres? What's mm. your class? What Afro house. Okay, damn So, that yeah, so I'm basically an Afro house fanatic. Okay. I can literally remember the start of it. I was driving on the A12 up the road from here, actually, and I heard a song, and it was just amazing. It was blowing me away as I was driving. And the DJ came on and said, 100 Zulu Warriors by Kulo de Song. And for the rest of the drive, I was like, 100 Zulu Warriors, 100 Zulu Warriors. I yeah, really didn't yeah. want to forget the name of the song. Yeah. And I got to my friend's house. I was like, get off the computer. And just, yeah, we type it. Yeah, and I was like, oh, yes, found it. And literally, that was, I think that was in like, 2008 or 2009 and ever since then I've just literally mm. followed my favourite artists around the globe Raven <laughs> to be honest with you I always, always thought I wasn't passionate like I okay. didn't really have much of a passion I, I'm interested in a lot but not really passionate about a lot and then one day I realised uh, I've spent all my money and all my time on Afro House so that must be my passion 100% yeah so I just got involved with it so did you just like literally just Buy yourself like some controllers, some things like. Oh, the DJing. Yeah, uh, so that was last year during lockdown. Yeah. And I um, don't know if we're allowed to talk about this, to be honest with you. Are we allowed to talk about this? Uh, like Matt Hancock can't get done for his crimes because it's retrospective. So I'm going to assume I can't get done for my crimes for the it's same just, reason. It's just, you can just talk around it. I can't. You can't? I can, but I can't. Anyway. Couldn't find any Afro house at the illegal parties last year. That, yeah, that's neat. That's clean. Yeah? yeah. So I couldn't find any at all. Well, the odd tune here or there. So I was managing for a while, but then I was like, mm, I really need to hear my genre. So I'm going to throw a forest party. So me and a few friends threw one. Okay. And it was it was a lot of hard work, uh, but it was a lot of fun. And we had about 250 people down there. That's a lot. Yeah, it, was, it blew us away, to be honest with you. And it was just perfect. Well, it wasn't. It was stress and a headache, but it just ran smoothly, went perfectly. Everyone had a good time, packed up, went home, tidied up the place. It was just perfect. Um, and two weeks before the event, I went to a dentist because I wanted to get my teeth done. Mm. And I came out of the dentist with a five grand dental plan. And I just sat in my car and I thought, 
I've had these teeth for 37 years and they've been fine. So I'm going to buy a controller and I bought one, mixed the same set over and over and over again for two weeks and then played at the forest. And then everything that just happened after that just happened after that. So it was just, it was just literally just, it was, everything just went to plan. Yeah. Well, it, it wasn't really a plan. The only plan was play at the forest. Everything else that's happened since then has just been a bonus, to be honest with you. It's, 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 it's a bonus. A bonus is, I feel like a bonus cool, but you're talented. Oh, that's nice. You got the air. No, but it's, 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 it's not luck. Okay. I don't, I, I don't, like, I believe in luck, but at the same time, it, if I want it, I'm that kind of person. I'm getting it in it. Yeah. No matter what. Yeah. Respectfully. Yeah. What is it though? Because. Well, not it, but maybe be more <coughs> recognised. Be more known, knowing your sounds even more, knowing more DJs than you already know. Being known is so more. cringy to me. Even sitting here now, talking into the mic, the cameras, I'm, it's, it's cringy to me. Yeah. If I could have done it with a paper bag over my head. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, done it with a... it's, it's cringy, but you DJ in front of hundreds of people. And this is where, this is, this is, the, this is the confusion I have with certain people. They'll be like, oh, like, I can't really talk to you in front of a camera, but you DJ in front of hundreds of people. Yeah, but DJing, mixing is like a meditation. So once you get going, I mean, I'm mad nervous before I go on. Honestly, my hands are shaking. I feel so nervous. And then you get on, you mix a couple of tunes and it's just like a meditation. You're not there. You're, you're just having fun. So this, you're just there at all times. Hmm? So what about this? You're just there at all times. What, this now? Interview. Um, yeah, I'm hyper aware of the camera. I, I hate being filmed, recorded. I'm not really, I'm not really on that at all. To be yeah, no, you're doing, you're doing well. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Cheers. Um, so who motivated you to DJ them? Um, obviously you said that you heard all that music in the car and that, but from London, who's, who's like, obviously we all have our motivations. You know what I mean? I motivate myself. No disrespect to anyone else in it. You know what I mean? But maybe... You might have got motivated by somebody else's sounds, maybe. I think um, I've always, always been a big music head, but I didn't realise how much. Like, I thought everyone was looking up who, which label this tune was released on, who produced it, where they're from. I thought everyone was doing that. Um, and so it, it would be impossible for me to sit here and say, oh, this person or that person, because it's literally across the whole of my raving career. I call it that because it yeah. is like one. Yeah. Um, so it'll be everyone. It'll be like a circle. Yes, yes. It would be... Proper circles, proper. Like literally everybody from, from that time period to, to now. You c I couldn't pick just one person, but even from garage days raving, I was always super interested in, in what DJs were doing and how they were doing it. Okay, so... Obviously, you've got a couple of events. Um, you've heard, well, you've held an event already. Um, obviously, you've got Intuit page as well. Yeah. Um, that's just strictly events. What? What? Well, the on my... Yeah, on your Intuit I mean, events page. I don't put a lot of personal stuff on there. If I'm totally honest, I do sometimes, but yeah. it's more just for people to check out where okay. I'm playing and what I'm doing, that kind of stuff. You got the natives coming up. Said so that's your event. I didn't know that was your event. Yeah. Um, I seen you pushing that hard. Actually, I've been seeing it even come up on my um, feeds as well. So that's, that's a good, good. look. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's sold out actually now. That's what I'm saying. And a lot of people don't know. That's why sometimes you should check like your explore page. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah. It comes up. So yeah. it's been coming up on my explore page. So oh, that means great. it's yeah, getting it's around. Cool. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah, that's yeah. that's a good look. Yeah, um, that is. That's great. To be fair. Some of them DJ ain't heard of, and I love hearing about DJ. Well, I like DJs that I ain't heard of before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For yeah. me, that's what I do. So what I really want to do, because I love events. I did events before I was a DJ, so okay. And and corporate events and events, Wicked. you know, Wicked. by myself and stuff. So I'm really, really super interested in it. I love raving and, and I love throwing a party and watching people who didn't know each other getting along, and I really like that feeling. So that's something I really do want to do, and that I am being a bit more considered about. Yeah. Um. So really what I'd love to do in an ideal world is bring over headliners. Yeah. Um, I'd like to give people from here a chance, you know, people that may have been overlooked or, you know, who are just superb DJs and they, they you know, deserve to be showcased. Yep. And I'd really like to give um, new DJs a place on the lineup every time as well, if possible. Yeah. Because they deserve it too. Do yeah, hundred percent. Mm. I, I don't really. A lot of DJs get overlooked. Yeah, and females too. I yeah, keep yeah. it nice and balanced. Yeah, um, that's why I'm even focusing on females more as well. Because mm. even from the first one, I think I only had like two. Yeah. Out of twenty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's that's that. No, you know yeah. what I mean. So yeah. it's like it's. I'm gonna have like at least. 
10, 11. Yeah, it's nice that you're looking it. at it. You know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, it, to be fair, even like, I got a couple of messages saying, like, you, like what's going on there? <laughs> oh, okay, And from, yeah. not, from more than, like, a lot, a lot of people, and a lot of people don't even know this. Like, okay. look, like, it's supposed to be balanced. It's supposed to be, yeah. like, I, I get it. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a male-dominated industry, isn't it? And it's going to take time to change. Yeah, yeah, 100%. Yeah. It's changing now, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, we live in a, a world, really, not just the industry, a world built by men for men by white men for white men, but, you know, men in general benefit from it. Do you know what I mean? And it's going to take a little... It's going to take support from men to change it. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a can of worms? You know what it is? <laughs> I'm going to I'm gonna say... I'm not even going to go into that one because I'm going to be like, look, but, 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 it's a but, but I'm not... Like, nah, I'm pushing whatever, innit? I'm just pushing the movement. Yeah. You know what I mean? I have to push our people as well. And that's where I even went wrong as well. Do you know what I mean? Because not like that, but I should be even pushing our people more. Mm -hmm. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So it's like, I'm making sure of that now. That's what I'm doing you know with, I mean? the, with the lineups as well. I mean, um, just for the moment, not not forever, but for the moment, I want it to be all black. Yeah, because yeah. Because black representation matters. Personally, this is a can of worms too. Personally, I can kind of see uh, Afro House being whitewashed to an extent. Do you reckon? Well, nah. when it's, I could argue down on this. We ain't got time, you know. You got an extra hour. <laughs> Because <laughs> I honestly, do you reckon? I, mm, mm, do you reckon? Mm, that, what? So the Afro House, the Amma, all of that. You reckon they're gonna get? No, because Amma, Amma's different. That's that's just come about. Do you know what I mean? It's it's, it's just come a about, shining moment. Sorry to cut you. Yeah, it ain't coming down for me. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, like the 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 extent of it. I don't know why Amma House DJs. Sorry. I don't know. I don't know no why Amma House DJs. Oh no, neither do I. Yeah. Um, but it's so it's so <laughs> fresh though over here, like it's it's fresh for Europe. Yeah, well, I get it. Do you reckon so? Do you, so you reckon that's so you so so sorry. What do you think is gonna get whitewashed? Exactly. Not, not going to get. I think that to an extent, Afro House is being whitewashed in order to present it to the masses. Um, to a de to a degree. I mean, we could argue it. Like I said, we need an extra an hour. An extra hour. There's things like. Um, white producers being named as top Afro house DJs, number one Afro house DJs. Okay, and stuff. I didn't know that. Like there's, yeah, like literally, it's been an ongoing thing for a while. Um, and actually, I was going to say it's not, I just think black representation matters uh, for the artists, for the creators, for the DJs, for the labels, for the event curators. It matters. It really matters. It okay, really, really matters. You know I'm, I'm a beautiful foundation's been laid by black people, by the black creators, by the black curators, and that needs to be showcased and appreciated. Do you know the world we live in? Yeah, I do. <laughs> um, but if you can change your little piece of it, why not? That's what I'm saying, and that's my piece I'm going to be changing. Mm -hmm. um, respectfully, I'm always going to put the respectfully part, you know what I mean? No matter what. But like I said, I need to push... I need to go, I need to go more I need to go over there more like because I'm a bit no I'm a I'm I'm a tech man okay I'll yeah. be honest yeah I'll I be I'll be I'll be real I'm a tech man um, there's a lot of other reasons to it but I'm a tech man at the minute mm -hmm. um, I've been a, probably for only like the last year or two okay um, but I think maybe just the sounds my sounds has changed okay yeah um, but I'm a kind of but you know what? I know about Amma from time ago, from like literally four years ago. Like, you know what I mean? It's like it's South African lounge music. Like I know, like yeah. my neighbours and that are like, yeah. you know what I mean? So like I, when they're playing it, I know. My barbers are that as well, isn't yeah, it? So yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I know. So it's like, I went to a tech grave on Sunday then I went to Wow's Art straight after. Mm. But I only done it just to test my, test my, because it's deep, music is deep. Yeah, so I went to yeah. the tech grave. I mean, I went to the, the Wow's Art. It's like I couldn't, you couldn't, my BP, everything couldn't, I can't sink into that. Yeah, I know what you mean. Uh, I, I actually, to be honest with you, I have a similar issue. So I play and I listen to and I rave to Afro House and Afro Tech, which is faster. There yeah. are more elements to it. Yeah. There's some gorgeous Amma out there, loads of gorgeous Amma out there, but I'm not going to try and play it or pick it up because it's just not my lane. It's too slow. Um, I, I, I mean, I prefer to rave to faster BPM, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, way faster. Yeah, I do, personally. And also, it's just not my lane. Like, I know about Afro House, that's where I come from. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm not going to just pick up Amma just because it's related to Afro House. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's, it's, they're all cousins though. I, just, yeah, I would just think, innit? 100%, yeah, yeah, I would 100%. just think like, it's just like, 
I just thought as a DJ, you just play. Whatever. Not whatever, but <laughs> I feel like as a DJ, personally, mm -hmm. I will play everything DJ wise. Amar, tribal, whatever, soulful, tech, everything, I'm underground. I'm really picky. I'm super picky. It's not an issue though. No, no, no. I like what I play. You have to be you. Mm. I think that there's a lot of DJs who are not them. I, I, I'm, I'm not wording it properly, but I think... Obviously, you play music to, to, to cater to the masses. Yeah. But you have to play music for yourself as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. I'll never play a tune I don't like. Okay, and that's... I'll never. I don't care how popular it is. You don't care? So even if I don't even care who asked me. I played at a private <laughs> gig and my friend sent me a tune and asked me to play it and I just said no. <laughs> oh, you just said no? No, I just said no. And he was like, seriously, you're not going to play it? And I said, no, I'm, I'm definitely not. Okay. Yeah, it's that. <laughs> I'm super picky, I really am. Yeah, yeah, because yeah. that's, that's changing your whole flow. You've had your little yeah, mindset. I know what I like, already, I know what I want to play. And I trust that the tunes that I'm going to select are going to, you know, make people happy. So do you think you have a less advantage in like the scene as a female though? 100%. But I just got buoyed off like about an hour ago. <laughs> I, just, I just went to see a venue and I went with a male colleague and the person that we went to see just really didn't give me the time of day at all. I think my experience on that venue stuff as well, they, they want to see someone with a big catalogue. They yeah, want to see... Because I've I've been trying to get little things. They want to see a catalog. They're saying I need to send over videos of previous events. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look, I got not not even to start on nothing. The money's there. Yeah, you know yeah. what I mean. It's, oh, it's not a money thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's not a money thing. But like on my side, and I told them, listen, mm. I'll pay half of your thing. It's up top. not. It's not the money. It's it's, it's just, nepotism to a degree. It's them protecting their brand and their venue to a degree, and it's racism to a degree. I just, I, it's. it's all the big, see, like I see a lot of events. Same, they use the same venues, yeah. And they, from from however, try to contact certain events to only cater to them, which is sad. Mm. You could go to little bars and get little bars. We don't know bars. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? You use, it's casual. We want the the. I won't say the big boys, but we want the events what everyone else is using. Yeah, you know I, I mean, mean, venues are even hard to come by at the minute anyway. Loads closed during COVID. Yeah, yeah. You know, past five years or so, so many closed prior to COVID, so they're hard so, to come by. So you say like, okay, whatever, you went you went there earlier and you, you said you got, boy, which is a strong word, but <laughs> cool. So it's because you're a female as well, you're saying? Yeah, you know. So if um, it was two guys, would you have got it? I didn't not get it. Oh, sorry, sorry. But yeah, if you, two, yeah, sorry. Would I have got sorry. treated that way? Nah, I think there would have been a bit more respect. So, you know, when, you know, there's that subtle racism. It's not someone walking down the street and calling you a this or a that or the other. It's that subtle racism that still exists in your day-to-day -day life that you see, but your white friend might not see. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Same thing exists, but it's just gender. Exact it's same thing. You might not see it, but we see it. It's there. Yeah, we always, yeah, yeah, yeah. We always see it though. Yeah. So Even if you don't want to see it. Yeah. Well, you don't want to see it. You'd rather it wasn't there, but it's there. Same thing, but gender. So other than that, has, has there been any other little things where you thought, oh, if I was a male, they might have treated me better or I might have been on that lineup or maybe. Mm, I'm not really, I'm not really watching it like that, to be honest with you. I'm really not. I feel that's like good, if, that's you, good. if you watch too many of them things, it's going to make you miserable. That's good. And I always say to everyone, ultimately, yeah, no one cares if they're the top DJ in the world. No one really cares about that, you know? You reckon? We're forced to care about it because of the system that we live in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No one cares. Do you know what you want to do? You want to play tunes and share them. That's all you want to do. You want to play tunes and share them. When you make a song, it doesn't matter whether it goes to number one. It only matters in the construct of the world that we live in. All you really want to do is make a song and share it. Okay. So that's what I'm focusing on, sharing. I thought you. I thought you would always want to be the best at what you do. Not I even just be, DJing. I want to be my best. I don't want to be the best. I want to be my best, whatever that looks like. Okay. Okay. That's the fit. I respect that. It's. I just thought you just. I get it though. I get what you're saying. I That's get what you're saying. That's gonna make you so miserable. Do you know how miserable that will make me trying to be the best? That will make me so miserable. I'm not gonna do that. I want to have fun, man. Yeah, I love that. I so enjoy it's, this. It's, 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 so it's not even for the money, it's for the passion. No, it's no money. Like, I can make money in other ways, like, you don't have to worry about that. Oh, okay. And if, if it's your passion and you love it and you execute it to a high standard and you're authentic, then I believe the money will come. Mm. So, what do you, 
So what what do you think a great DJ consists of though? What yeah, what do you think it consists of? Um And what makes you different? What makes me different? What makes you different from any other DJ? I haven't even thought about that, honestly. I try not to think about those things too much because it's too comparative. But do you know what? I, do you know what? I get what you're saying, though. It's going to make you miserable. Comp- comparison get... will just make you real miserable. Just I... do you the most you you can be. That's it. That's all I'm going to do. But you don't want to be unique, though. You don't We're wanna... all unique. Yeah, yeah, we, I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. But do that extra hour. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're saying, but you you know what I mean, no? Mm. Yeah, you, I, you I can. Know, you, I know what you mean, but I, I don't think you get unique by trying to be unique. I think you are unique just by being you. There's no other you, you know. There's only you. Mm. <laughs> so mm. just be you. And by default, you're unique. Yeah. That's them deep, unique ones, though. Well, you know what I mean? Be, like, there's nothing wrong with a little deep. Come on, man. <laughs> no, I respect that. Hmm. I respect that. Um, you're definitely different from <laughs> all the other female DJs I've spoken to, oh, which really? is good. Yeah, and it's a good thing. Okay. Do you know what I mean? I feel like you've been in it for, I feel like you've been DJing for years. Because how you're breaking it down to me. No, I've it, been in Afro House for years. I've been a fanatic of Afro House and Afro Tech for years. So that's probably why. Yeah, because I because yeah. I think it as well. I think sometimes the way I speak online and that people thinking, hold on, she's only been doing this five minutes. Yeah. But I've been following this particular sound for twelve years now. Okay. And okay. I've been like literally all over the world following them around. Oh you just be, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like proper deep. Yeah, yeah. I leave next month to go to Kenya. I'll be there for a couple of weeks and then I'm flying to South Africa and I did the same thing last year. Mm. So like literally I'll go all over the world to hear them play. Oh, can you? Have yeah, so you been here before? Last year. Oh, how was it? Yeah, it was beautiful. Stunning. Mm. Absolutely stunning. Like I, I, we'd need an ever hour just for that, to be honest with you. It was beautiful. Went oh. to the most stunning um, festival on the border of Kenya and Tanzania, right next to Mount Kilimanjaro. That must have been so oh, serious. I, can't, I just can't even put it into words. It was out of this world. Yeah, noted. Yeah. Noted. <laughs> noted. I want to ask you about the festival you played at, Four Corners. Mm. How was that? Was that your first festival? Yeah. Speak to me. How was that feeling? Um, Really overwhelming and terrifying. But I had such a busy weekend. Like I had a gig in Nottingham on the Friday. Yeah, but, I saw that. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were from Nottingham originally. No, Don't ask no, me why. Yeah, Don't no, ask no. me why. Yeah. Probably because I think my first proper official legal gig was with the guys from Tones in Nottingham, so maybe that's oh, why. okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I literally thought, no, I thought Nottingham. Yeah, but yeah, 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 yeah. And maybe you don't hear me speak that much because I definitely don't have a Nottingham accent. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I hear that, I hear that. Um, yeah, so it was terrifying. It was... Yeah, terrifying, overwhelming. Um, like, I felt really honoured, to be honest with you. Like, oh, wow, how the, how the hell did they find me? Um, and, yeah, like I said, the weekend was so, so, so busy. That was the final stop. And by then, I was, I'm not going to lie, I was dying. I had to dig deep to be able to, like, even do it, to be honest with you. And I think being that knackered got rid of some of my nerves, and I just went for it. And so I felt super relaxed. I had a good time. Um, the guys that were around, the hosts and stuff, they were all really lovely and supportive, and it just it went really well. Not with, like, I had a couple of hiccups, but nothing major. And it, I had my, the response was good. I felt good, so... It's yeah. something, something you learn from, though, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Every it's, set. It's, yeah, it's what I'm saying. It's a learning curve. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. when you think this is nervous, it's going to go. You don't look nervous now. So um, when no, is it? I am. I am nervous now. I'm sitting on my hands because like, I feel a little bit shaky because the cameras are on. Oh. But, <laughs> but yeah. Um, lots of people told me the nerves don't go. I don't mind if they don't go, but they, they definitely need to calm down a little bit. And I think I'm getting there. It's like every other gig now will be super nervous. But... Before it was every single gig, so I'm getting there. I feel so like. you're you're obviously you're doing your own way. So I feel like do you reckon, so even when you're native, it's gonna be nervous. Oh your yeah, hundred percent. I'm nervous already. <laughs> okay. I'm already you nervous. So, yeah. you, know, you don't seem like a you seem like I you're know, just good to go. I know people say that. No, people say that. I don't know what it is. Do you know what? Um, you can be confident. You can appear confident and not be confident. I think. Well, that must be the case because. Because I'm, I wouldn't consider myself the most confident person. Okay. It's not a skill that I that comes naturally to me, so it's one that I have to work hard on. You'd be right. You'd be right. You're tough. You'd be right. <laughs> so how about um when you played that all about house? How was that feeling? 
Yeah, that was good. I was really honoured to go and play there too. You know what I mean? It's a brand that I've had my eye on for ages. Yeah, same as well. Uh, uh, the guys that do it work really hard. Yeah. Um, it's a great black brand. So yeah. I was really honoured to play there, man. Yeah, because um, I even told Jerome Kidman, yeah, I got into a conversation. He's like, yeah, 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 yeah. Get her, get her, get her. I was like, yeah, man, I've been, get me following for a minute. It's like, yeah, man. Like, that's a lot. That's yeah, a lot. I was, happy, you know I was I mean? really happy to play there, man. It was a great vibe. It was his birthday. He was missing. Oh, was he missing? <laughs> yeah, he was missing. But you know what? I noticed. He's a wonderful host. Really, Legend. really wonderful host. Legend. Like he keeps his eye on everyone, makes Legend. sure everyone's having a good time. That's great stuff. Legend. He's, 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 I'm just saying, there's good people left out there like that. I'm telling you. I'm telling, I'm telling you. you. And I really want to do my best to support them. Do you know what I mean? I start yeah. to feel bad when, oh shit, I haven't posted anything for anyone for a couple of days. Let me get out and support It's people. not easy though, all of that. That's no, a whole I'm other world, you, you know. I find it hard even for me. And I, I prefer real life interactions, man. All this camera, okay. camera staring at a screen stuff is... Us. It's it's reposting. Only thing about like I said, I will say to a couple of DJs, you have to be a bit active on socials. You have to be a bit in there. You have to look like you're. Unfortunately, you have to look like you're doing stuff yeah, or doing you something. Do. Mm. Um, just to be to be engaged. Yeah. Because it's easy to get to get lost. Yeah. It's easy definitely. for people to get for, to forget about you. On yeah, there, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which... I mean, I did it on Facebook. I had to go back with my tail between my legs the other day. Like, hi guys. Yeah, yeah, me? yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I just dipped on them a few years ago. I thought the app was gonna die. To be honest. Yeah, yeah, it's still going. Some it? boring. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, I had to go back and try and get, you know, familiar with the people in there again and stuff. Yeah, so. yeah. So do you post more of your DJ stuff on there or are you just uh, interacting? A bit if... of both. Yeah, a bit of both. Okay, yeah. okay. P push that. I feel like personally I'll push the DJ the DJing thing as much as possible. Yeah. Um, I think, get... like I said, it all still feels a bit cringy to me because as far as I'm concerned, I'm still learning. You know, it's what? not. I don't feel like, yeah, I've got this in the bag right now. I'm still learning you know what this is and how to do my best basically you know you're not gonna realize how exposed you're getting you know someone has to tell you like how i've told you on your pages and stuff you keep popping up and stuff and it, someone's always watching mm. <laughs> that's not a nice <laughs> feeling man it, it but it's it's Someone's always going to know. It's music. You play, you're playing music for people what they love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know what? For every aspect of it that terrifies me, there are some really beautiful people out there supporting me. People that I've never met before. People that I have met. I'm getting to know a bit more now. People that I've known for years. You know, my, my friends and stuff, family and that. And it's just, it just makes the whole process so much easier. Yeah, yeah. I so respect that. Easier. Yeah, so I just try to focus on that more than the negative things, but... So yeah, it's what's still the, scary. So what was that about that um the woman Afro House event? What's it called? The woman. The woman Afro House. Yeah, yeah. What what's that event? Because someone was telling me about it, but I'm not really too. Do they do that all the time? Or was that just like a? I think it was the first of a series of events. Oh okay. And it was run by um, Drums Radio, so they're an Afro House yeah, radio no. station. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Run by oh, the guys okay. that do the Afro House party. Another great brand that I really love. Yeah, I, I'm saying I think I've heard it. No, who did I hear about drums radio from? Was it you? Was you playing? You played the drums on radio. Um, no, I on their live stream once. I post no, them quite a lot. Yeah, it must. But I'm, I f I'm sure I must have learned about them through you. Yeah, I'm trying to think who else. No, Kidman hasn't been on them, has he? Um, no, I don't think so. But the in, the radio station hosts loads and loads of Afro house DJs from here, from abroad. So, um, did you go to Sandella? Yes, I did. Yeah. How was that? Yeah, it was good. It looked amazing. Yeah, I had a lot of fun. Yeah, yeah. What yeah. about coffee? It, I went there too, so it was a long day, man. Really long day. I don't know how you survived that long. <sighs> how did you survive that long? Well, I, I don't. I was a bit awkward about talking about this actually, but it's kind of something that I need to touch on. So I have two autoimmune illnesses that really kick my ass. If I'm totally honest with you, like they, done off my energy, cause me a lot of pain, and I don't like to take the stuff that the doctors want to give me for various reasons yeah so i have to be careful about how much energy i use, use. Up. Yeah, yeah yeah so if i'm if i know i'm going out i'll just rest a lot the day before and like before i go i'll just rest and rest and rest sleep if i can take painkillers and then hit the road yeah so it was a long day for me i kind of tapped out at about 5 a.m i think from sondela sondela because i just by then i just was on empty oh, was, was sondela all night what time is it six or something seven 
I can't even remember, to be honest with you. Yeah, probably about six-ish. Yeah, the that's... coffee looked like it was a oh, it was fucking... A, yeah, it was out. It like was a movie. Out of this world. Yeah, it was. It was. The light show was Yeah, crazy. yeah I see some circle thing from far. Yeah, they had some hologram looking light stuff. It, it was proper production. Random. I didn't know you had one arm. What? <laughs> you never <laughs> noticed? I swear, I did not... Mm. I listen to his music. Isn't that isn't that deep though? Like, didn't that blow your mind? Like, wow. I was like, what? I yeah, was, you wow. Know, in the group chat, he was, he was talking, talking a bit of banter. Then someone was like, oh, he's got one arm. So I'm like, what are yeah. you talking about? No. Mm. I never knew that. Yeah, the accident when he was really young. So what? Car it, accident, I think. No, I feel like I always see all two. No. I mean, no, he's got two arms. Oh, but, <laughs> yeah, but only one is, active. you know, yeah. That's, that's so, how, so that's what I'm saying. I was saying to my friend, do you reckon if it's pre-mixed? No, nah, absolutely not. Absolutely not. And actually, now that I've got, I haven't got a DJ ear. That's very bossy. I've got a baby DJ ear. I I heard for myself that he is mixing. I heard on Saturdays that he's definitely mixing. I'm convinced. Well, thousand percent. Well, I'm not going to put all my money on it, but, <laughs> but I feel like he is. Yeah. I I, I feel like I heard that it was him mixing. That's that's so that's like so how many decks is he, how many decks was up there? That's, I didn't even see, but yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. Have I ever seen him mix? Was it just him playing the whole thing? No, was it a couple other? Who yeah. Else was so it? Angelos came. So he's an Afro house producer and DJ from Greece. Okay, I ain't and heard of him. Not, he's not he's not new. He's been around. So his name's him. Angelos, but he was previously known as Angelo, and he's he's not new to the Afro house scene. He's been making great Afro house tunes for years, and I think the other person was Temba. I got there a bit late. Um, so I'm not sure, but I think it was Temba, who's like Coffee's right hand man. Oh, okay, I'm gonna look yeah. more into that that Coffee and all of that. You know, I, I'm just a bit. Well, I mean, but the one arm, it's like the one arm things attracts me to him. Yeah, like, yeah, it's, it's, it's mind blowing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. It it is, like, it's mad inspiring. Yeah, that's mm. that's different. Yeah, but is. that's so I'm saying. You wanna be having events like that? Nah, honestly. No. <laughs> nah. Um, I mean, I think that's a beautiful thing, and. I think festivals are great, but when it comes to raving, I prefer more intimate setting, you know? Yeah, same. Um, I prefer like maybe 300 tops. I want to yeah. join random crews and make a million new friends and talk the ears off of everyone, to be honest with you. 100%. Like, that's, that's a vibe to me. 100%. So that's kind of what I want to do. So how's your networking skills? Are you, is, is your networking on point? Um. I would say so, yeah. I think I've got a really nice, decent network, to be honest with you. Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my music family, my family family. Do you know what I mean? I'm happy with my network. So do you, you go to? So do you get invited to a lot of events? Do you go to all of them? Uh, I don't know if I get invited to a lot of events. I get invited to some, and I can't go to all of them because of my health conditions. Oh yeah, yes, yeah, yes, so yes, I can't, yes. I can't do as much as I want to do. I'd like to go to many, many more because I want to support some of the new DJs. You yeah. Because I know that it, it feels good to have people there supporting you. Um, and I want to check some people out who I haven't seen play before. Play before, yeah. Yeah, yeah. so I'd like to. So you see like, because um, I saw the lineup of the natives, um, half of them, are they new? Some of them? Cause I, I'm not even really familiar. Uh, so the only newbies, no, tell a lie. So we have Via Seri. She's a Amma Piano and Afro House DJ. Okay. She's fairly new. I spoke to her recently. I think she said she had her first gig in June. She blew. Sorry. She blew up. I mean, she's got a lot of star quality. Okay. Yeah, real star quality. A lot of people have noticed her. And um, she plays a great, beautiful set. So um, she's joining us. And we have me. Obviously, I've only been doing it just over a year. Yep. And we have Rosie Lee who's very, very new as well. She's played a few gigs, got a few gigs under her belt, but she's outstanding as well. Super professional, considering yeah. she's, you know, just started. Okay. And is definitely, you know, you know, everybody feels that feeling of overwhelm when you first start, but she's just like, duck to water. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you just wouldn't know that she was new. Okay, I want to look into, I want to look into... Yeah, they're great. What? Yeah, and we're all females, actually, all the newbies. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, so, did you think about doing a female lineup? Then you just thought I'd mix up? Do you know what? I wonder if I find it a teeny bit corny. And I wonder <laughs> if the female DJs are starting to get a bit tired of it. You know, like, we, we're we here and we just want equality, really. You don't have to do this whole, well, females and this and that. Just We just want an equal world. So, ain't it all, ain't it all male um, lineup corny now? Ain't, sorry. Ain't, a, sorry, ain't an all-male lineup corny, though? 
Well, it's, well it's the way it's always been, so it's not really seen as. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. When it's been the norm. No, it has to. I think I see a lot. Is well, what annoys me a lot of events, the same DJs over and over. Um, yeah, I think. That's why I don't really go to them events no more. So I know what they're gonna play. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. They've played like the same. From trust me, I remember everything, and they always play the same stuff. I don't see why, and no one says nothing. Mm. Not that anyone's gonna say anything anyway, innit? I'm but, dying to ask who you're referring to, but no, it's, it's, not, it's not. It's not deep. It's no. not. It's not. It's nothing deep. But no, it's, no, no. we want like I want to hear different sounds, innit? Yeah. What comes to my event? That's what I'm saying. When is it? When is it? When is the 27th? Yeah, Saturday. 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 Mm -hmm. Shut down. Yeah. Shut yeah, down. I, shut oh, down. Yeah, it's, it's it's sold out. I'll see if I can squeeze you on. See? No, do you know what? We're really tight on space because we're only in room two. We're, be, we're hosting the second room. We're collaborating with my friends over at Deep Into Soul. So okay. they do a soulful house night. They're hosting room okay. one. We're hosting room two. Okay, okay, cool. Deep Into Soul, I ain't heard of them before. So they're a soulful house brand that's been around, mm, I don't know if it's just under a decade, I think. That's what I'm saying. I need to go you, into that little yeah. world, you know. What do you, do you like soulful house then? <sighs> yeah, I mean, I, I like it. But it's do I move mood. to it? I, I like it and I would, I'd go festivals and listen to soul. Yeah, 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 yeah. Could listen to anything at a festival. Respectfully, but I raving, probably... I want to hear what I want to hear and what I want to hear is Afro House and Afro Tech, to be honest. Respectfully, I could go to soul for House with a date. Maybe I just go out and have a little, yeah, yeah, yeah nice. do you know what I mean? Yeah, Maybe yeah, just like, vibe. Yeah, yeah, like, and just that's vibe. Perfect, yeah, literally. Yeah, yeah, but that makes sense. I can't really. Like, you're going to just. Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? That's, 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 that's the only way, but. I still got a lot to learn myself. Mm, mm. I got a lot to learn. There's, I didn't know there's so much to music. What the and subgenres and just, stuff? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there's, there's, there's thousands. No, oh, yeah, sorry, sorry, yeah. Sorry. there's not thousands. No, but, but you know there's, what I'm there's to say. a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's and it's a lot. like a lot of people are one rooted with it. Mm. From what, the more people I speak to who are not like DJs themselves, and I talk to them about the music, they just know about just like. There's nothing. Yeah, I know. It's difficult to reach everybody. Yeah, so I don't really know how because it's. It's just reaching me now as I'm starting to... I've been taking the music. I've been waiting for like 10 years plus, but it's like, it's, it's, the, it's like, it's always been in my heart, but now I'm more like, I want to know. Yeah, like, that's what I was like with Afro. Like, like, I want to know. know. I want to know who's playing, what kind of sound they play, how it's different to this person's sound. Like super interested in. But it's, it's it not, what don't really help is like a lot. I ain't really got like, for example, I ain't got like a right hand man or something who's on the same vision as me oh okay so it's like if I want to go there they're like mm, but you gotta listen, just I, go I, here's what I'm saying I want to start now I'm do you know how many black coffee raves I've been to by myself I'll just go yeah I'm gonna I buy start. two tickets if no one can come with me I sell one and I go by myself nine times out of ten you're going to see someone you know anyway and even if you don't if you really love the music you're going to have fun you just vibe mm, you'll probably make friends do you know what I mean yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, yeah, new energy next year anyway. I wanna start literally exploring more things. Cause there's bare events. Yeah, like, I'll be on my thing, I'll be like, that event, that event. I'm thinking, wow, where's yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that? Are. But most, you know, it's as well. A lot of them soul for number one, they're more intimate vibe. They're in more intimate Even settings. Deep into soul, they just had an event at the cause. And that's a huge venue. But I wouldn't even, I'm saying that. Yeah, massive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that, Tottenham? Where's that? Um, uh, yeah, I think it yeah, is somewhere. Right? And it's yeah. huge, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well yeah. over a thousand, ain't it? Yeah, is it? Mm. I think so. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. I know it's in Tottenham. about now. that. Maybe it's about I think I've been there once. I'm not yeah. going to lie. I didn't know there was even a thousand soulful house ravers out there, but there are. Yeah, there is. Mm. I think it's more mature though. It definitely is. But I think there's a younger crowd coming up that are interested in it too. Yeah. You know, like disco. You know what Defected did with Glitterbox? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kind of, yeah, yeah. Reignited that kind of soulful yeah. vibe again. Yeah, I'm going to, yeah, yeah, noted. That's another thing noted. You know I'm saying? I've got all the notes there. I'm going <laughs> to, like I said, like I said to other DJs as well, I like interviewing DJs where I'm learning. Yeah. I'm learning here. Oh, you know what I mean? It's not, yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, but it's, it's a fact. I respect that. And that's what, I, that's what, for me, that's an interview for me. You know what I mean? Obviously, we're, we're breaking down your whole structure and what you do, but... I need to learn from you as well. Yeah, yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Okay. So it's like, what well, this is about for you then? Is it? Of, is, yeah, it's, yeah. It's, yeah it, but it's 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 gonna have to be. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It's like I, it's. I'm interviewing I, you now. So what, what's I love sesh about? Well, it's, just, it's just about everything, isn't it? You yeah. want it to be, isn't it? It's, well, why did you start it? To be fair, it was, it was more. It was. Oh, why did I start it? Because mm. no one 
is doing. How could you not want to know about your DJ you listen to every day? Yeah, that's true. That's, I just feel like I don't even need to even go into anything else after that. Yeah, How yeah. could you not want to know what your DJ's like? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Their mentality, mm. like what they eat. And obviously yeah. not, but you know what I mean? Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm there raving to your music drunk and you're just there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Why cool. not know more about you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, what's good? Like, what are we doing? Like, yeah, what's, yeah. what's going on no, in your little... It's it's a It's, it's... No, no, well, I think there's one other podcast... I don't know someone one other one I think they're doing it but I'm not I don't follow them okay. so I'm not really not too too sure about what oh, they've okay, got going yeah, on yeah. Um, obviously there's another one with Shen and that I know them they're doing it as well but they're not it's not one on one just more just having a chit chat yeah yeah, yeah you know what I mean so I feel like I'll keep saying this this is a no brainer isn't it you know what I mean I'm just gonna you know how it goes you have to graft that air yeah, as well yeah definitely so, and it seems like it's going well yes yeah. you can't complain yeah, man, you know what I mean well. But yeah, look, thanks for coming. Thanks for it having me. It was a pleasure. Cheers. All went well. Yeah, yeah, it was pain yeah. free, man. Really. You know what I'm <laughs> I told you, it's all went well. Like I said, it's all about you. It's all about your journey. It's all about your growth. Yeah, Everything man. will be all right. You know what I mean? Thank you. But yeah, good luck in your journey. Thank Hopefully, you. part two. Yeah? Yeah, all right, all right then. Sweet. <laughs>